Hi. When deciding which black to put on your palette, think first how you want it to work. Knowing the characteristics of each black and the pigments they contain will help you make the best choice. Let's look at ivory black first. This is the most familiar. But as an authentic 100% bone black, the thing here is that this is a warm, transparent black. Its best use is actually mixed, either to make some nice silvery grays. I've got titanium white here. See how easily that will go gray because the black, the ivory, is delicate. Again, with flake white, we get a nice warm dimensional gray. And a lot of painters will use ivory to make very sensitive greens because it, it has a nice realism to it. This is our cad yellow lemon. And look at how the ivory black will make a nice clean green. It won't overwhelm the glow of that cadmium yellow. Another use would be with some opaque modern yellows. This is our Dutch yellow. Uh, nickel titanate. Here's Mars yellow. And both of these are very luminous on their own. And the transparent ivory is not going to cancel that luminosity. It's just going to enhance it and warm it up. This is an almost a beautiful burnished green gold. And here with the Dutch yellow, even though I put a lot of black in there, you still have a nice delicate green. Completely opposite to that is lamp black. Lamp black as a pure carbon black is intense. It's cold mixing and it's very powerful. It's actually hard to make a gray from this black, although you do want to mix with it because it's a little slower drawing. With the titanium you can see that steely cold gray. Put some flake white in there. Look, look how it takes over the flake. You can't even tell that it's a gray. And using the same yellows, I've got my Mars yellow up here and the Dutch yellow. Watch how the lamp black just overwhelms the yellow. And put some more in there. Still, the lamp black makes a powerful statement. It's a great black if you want a lot of drama in your mixture, if you're, you're trying to make a big impact. Thirdly, we have the trans uh, these synthetic iron oxide pigment, which is what Mars black is. So here is the black to use on its own because it's lean, it's opaque, it has good coverage, it dries nicely. You can use this in an underpainting more, uh, more successfully than any of the other blacks. And it's neutral in mixing, which makes it ideal for making a whole bunch of grays which will be neutral. They won't be too warm, too cold, and very easy to mix up. I'm even putting the flake white in there. You see, I get a nice gray. And you can put even more white in there and do your value scale with titanium white, a neutral white, and your Mars black. Another option is actually a couple of mixtures that we have. Payne's Gray, which is a blue-black. And this is a little more colorful than using black alone. It's also very easy to control, somewhat transparent, delicate enough to use in a flesh tone for creating shadow. And look how blue that tin is with the titanium white. Last choice would be our shale. This is actually the deepest of our chromatic grays. <coughs> and 
quite colorful. You could use this if you want to draw with your brush and put a linear element in your painting. It w it'll uh, blend really nicely in a nature scene, unlike a black that would stand out. Or you could start off your painting with this as a neutral color. And the thing with this is dark and value, it's, it is cool and mixes very nicely with other cool dark uh, colors like the viridian here. I'm going to put some shadow in here. And look at how it doesn't kill the green. You still have a lot of green, but now it's darker in value. And, and you can control it easily. I could keep adding this. And I'm st I still haven't lost the green. The other great thing about it is its neutrality. I can prove that. This is yellow ochre. Any of these other blacks we looked at will turn that yellow ochre green. Shale does it. All it does is change the value. Now I have yellow ochre deep. I didn't turn it green. And that's quite magical. So there you have it. Three very different blacks. Two amazing mixtures. Which one will you choose?